Hi guys, Sage here and welcome back to another fitness journey talk. I'm really sorry for the past two weeks. I have not been posting this, but it's because there's something that I recently have been diagnosed with and I wanted to really sit down and talk to you guys about it. So one of the things that I've already known that I've have been previously diagnosed with which is post-traumatic stress disorder which is PTSD that is just a short abbreviation of um um post-traumatic um stress disorder so basically it's a combination with anxiety and flashbacks triggered by a traumatic event so that can be car crashes, it can be child abuse, it can be possibly going to war, you know, there's a lot of things that can happen with post-traumatic stress disorder, and, um, let me just tell you some symptoms of it as well, so, um, flashbacks, nightmares, um, anxiety, insomnia, you know, um, you, you you lost interest completely in activities, you feel guilt, you feel lonely, lonely loneliness, you have fear, you have extreme anxiety, mistrust, and you basically are um social um basically you don't want to go near anyone basically. So that's basically what post traumatic um, symptoms are and the treatments basically is either medication you have specialists and you have therapies that can help you as well um the next thing is something that I was sort of actually um diagnosed with three years ago and only in the last two to three weeks I'm just coming to accept which is borderline personal personality disorder. So this is a um, mental illness and it's a very serious one as well. And it's something that I've been suffering for years, you know. And um, so this is a mental disorder classified by unstable moods, behavior and relationships. And, um, it's very hard, you know. Um, I'm just going to tell you some symptoms which I have been going through for years. Um, symptoms include emotional instability, feelings of worthlessness, um, insecurity, impulses, and, um, impaired social relationships. You can also experience um, anti-social anti behavior. Um, you can be hostile, um, risky, um, taking behavior, self-destructive behavior as well, self-harm, which I go through. Um, basically, don't want to be near anyone and the lack of restraint which is true, um, mood, you can go through, um, anger, anxiety, another one that I go through, um, guilt, loneliness, mood swings, or even sadness, that's what I go through as well, depression, um, always insecurity about self-body issues, and other two, technically I can't pronounce, but also the most common one as well, which is um, suicide, which some of you who've known me, I've been dealing with this for years, since high school as well. And um, the treatments for borderline personality disorder, that is therapies, um, which is anger management, compulsive behavioral therapy, um, one I can't pronounce, which my now former counsellor did recommend me going and yeah that's just some of the symptoms and also the treatments of borderline personality disorder you know I've actually felt numb since finding out about this but um I know that I'll be okay you know and I know that it's just going to take time for me to be able to um 
learn more about this. Not only that, this is actually a real serious mental um, illness disorder as well. So you can manage it. You can. It's just going to take some time and treatment too. So the other one that I was um, diagnosed with was generalized anxiety disorder. And it's severe ongoing anxiety that influences with daily activities. It's something that I have been talking to you guys over the past two years that I have been suffering from, you know. Especially phone anxiety. Literally is a pain in my ass. Um, I'm going to talk about the symptoms just so we all know. Um, the common, um, the common has symptoms similar to panic disorder causing um obsessed compulsive disorder which is ocd um or other types of anxiety and there's like symptoms are pains in the back which i go through um phlegmatite which is basically when it comes to eating um i get lightheaded and that's true i get restless trying to sleep and i do sweat which we all do um, I have extreme anxiety, fear, repeat, repeating going over thoughts, that's true. Um, behavioural problems, of, of course, lack of concentration and unwanted thoughts, which is, which is true, is basically what I go through. And also common um, emotional distress, um, excessive worrying, which I go through. Difficult falling asleep, which is actually what I've been going through for years since um, year six. That's when this a lot of this stuff started as well. You get headaches, you feel sick, and another one I couldn't pronounce, and you get trembling as well, you know. Um, I'm not crying, I just want to do this. Um, really sitting down to really talk to you guys about this, it's hard. And it really is, you know. Um, I am still getting therapy and I will be because with this particular um, generalized anxiety disorder, you can take medication, you can do self-care. Um, therapies as well, you know, specialists I can talk to about this. And a lot of this will also be all in PTSD and also in borderline personality disorder that, um, that I am going through. You know, um, this is hard to talk about, you know, like these are the two ones that I feel really iffy in talking about because only in the last two months I got diagnosed with, with um, borderline personality disorder and generalized anxiety disorder and it's something I'm trying to get into my head, like, to accept, to say, you know what, you're going to be okay, a lot of this explains how I've been for nine years, you know. And I will be okay. It may not look like it at the moment because it's hard to talk about these things, you know. But I want to be honest. And it explains a lot of my behaviour as well. You know, sometimes I don't get off my eyes until that last week of the month. But, um, I'll be okay. I will be okay, you know. That's something that I need to accept as well. Breathe in and out. But that's going to be it for this one, you know. Um, I will try to go back to posting videos of Fitness Journey next month, you know. Talks. And, yeah. I'll be okay. I promise you guys, I will be. This is going to take some time. I look very upset because I feel upset. But, you know what, I'm accepting the feeling. I'm breathing. And I might go play some games after these videos. Because I have to record one more video after recording this one. But, um, I feel better that I talk to you guys about it. So, you sort of understand what these symptoms are. I will put them, I will put all of these words down below. You can research them yourself. But if you are suffering these, um, disorders... Don't be ashamed to go and get help. Please don't be ashamed because... Because... 
trying to accept something is more twice as hard in women and men, you know. Men have it harder than women do, you know. But accepting the issue and then solving the issue is just so much more better than anything. But I thank you all so much for joining me. Um, the annotations were already popped on with a recent video and the link to this particular series. Go down below where you can go check out all my social media like um, my website and including Instagram and Facebook. I mostly am more active on those. And also go down to all the YouTube series links that I have posted over the last 8 years on YouTube. Thank you all so much for joining me for this video. Please respect anyone with mental illness and what they're going through. Because it's like a mental head fuck in your head. And you are just so confused. And just be just be kind to one another. Like Ellen, like Ellen always says, be kind to one another at the end of each show. That's what you guys just need to do. But thank you. And I'll see you all soon. Well, technically I'll see you all at 3pm. But for people who missed that, I'll see you all for the next video. Catch you guys.